name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome. Welcome to our visitors. Welcome to those who are listening. We come today on this Feast of the Epiphany. Time that the wise men came to visit the Christ child. We are continually on our journey, the journey of discovering Christ new in our own lives. Let's take a moment to recognize his love and forgiveness in our lives. Lord Jesus, you are the King of the Jews, Lord of mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the light of the Gentiles, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are shepherd of God's people, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Let's pray. O God, who on this day 
Reveal your only begotten Son to nations by guidance of a star, granting their mercy that we who know you are already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your Son and glory. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns into the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, the Magi from the east arrived to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw a star at his rising, has come to do homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophets. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. Since you shall come a ruler who shepherded my people Israel, then Herod called the Magi secretly and served them down at the time of the star appearance. He sent to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After all this with the king, they set out. And behold, the star they had seen as rising preceded them, and they came and stopped at the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And entering the house, they saw the child of Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves to him in homage. They opened their treasures, offering gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And after, and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for the country by another route. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Some time ago, a survey was done among ch school children asked the question why they enjoy reading Harry Potter novels or watching Harry Potter movies. And the response to both of them was because you never know what's going to happen next. Certainly, the Magi's never knew what was going to happen next. They probably got lost, had asked for directions. Who'd ask directions from? Herod. All that he plans to do is to, to kill the King Jesus. He does not want to interfere with his rulership. The Magi is continuing on, encountered the Christ child, and then in dream, they're told to go another route back. 
Certainly on this feast of Epiphany, the appearance of the wise men coming to Jesus is manifested to them, Jesus, among themselves. And they, in turn, are called to go back and bring the message of Jesus to others. Now, this feast of the Magi, next week is the feast of the baptism of our Lord. A way to tell the people, and tell us, Jesus is there for each one of us. It's not only for a few, but for everyone. Oftentimes, people go through life. Did Jesus really come for me? Now, the question that sometimes they ask is, do I know the way to heaven? Do I know how to get to heaven? Very simply, do we know Jesus? Do you know Jesus came for each one of us? He died on the cross for you and me. Do you know that Jesus is there for us. And sometimes in life, we're going on bumpy roads. I wonder, is Christ there? We want to take time to, to uh, pray, to be open to God's spirit. And certainly on this Feast of the Magi, the Feast of the Epiphany, <clears throat> manifestation of our Lord, I invite you to think about who are the people who revealed Jesus' presence to you. How have you come to know Jesus more deeply in your lives? Now think back, as my parents were probably the first teachers of Jesus. My dad often say he was not a very religious man, but he always took us to church on Sunday, we all went together as a family. We had quite a few masses on Sunday, so we always went to eight o'clock mass. If we're lucky, we talked to him into nine o'clock. We usually went to eight o'clock mass, always sat in the same pew. And my dad was a carpenter, always in the extra work, so sometimes he'd go work on Saturday. He asked if any kids wanted to go with them. The first thing we would do is go to church. Neighbor Parrish had Mass Saturday morning at 7 o'clock to go to Mass there. I remember seeing my parents that they would go to confession themselves and ask us about going. You know, being in school, we went probably once a month. But during the summer, we were on our own. Mom would say, I'm getting supper ready. The kids want to run up to church to go to confession. And the four of us have to go up to church to go to confession. But hearing that example and seeing that example of Christ and throughout the seminary, wondering, is this where Christ is calling me to? Looking for ways to reveal himself to me. It might be through a teenage kid on a tech retreat, teenage kind of Christ, or adults on that retreat, who said, yes, Dennis, continue on. When I was a sophomore in Kenwood Seminary, went down to the city GL in St. Louis ministering to the inmates there, but also listening to classmates, to the guy in charge of the program, getting encouragement to continue on. They were revealing Jesus to me. And certainly throughout my priesthood, seeing Jesus revealed through people like yourselves. Whether my first assignment, first assignment in being in Washington, Missouri, or this assignment here, I thank you for the example of Jesus presence that you make to me. People who take time for Adoration Chapel, take time to sit at the very end of Mass, you certainly are the presence of Jesus to me and certainly to one another. We need to have that manifestation to each other, what an encouragement that is. But in turn, who are we manifesting Jesus to? Who are we being the example of Jesus' presence to our world? The wise men came to recognize, but then I'm sure they went back and shared about their journey to others. We need to be willing to share our journey. How has Christ touched us? How has Christ made a difference for us that we can share with each other? You Knowing and sharing about that journey, we make a difference. You know, Saturday morning is that the Baptist church they have, on the first Sunday of the month, they have a prayer breakfast, where they have breakfast for any men who want to come, and then somebody who manifests, talks about their relationship with Jesus. Usually done by 7.30. Makes our great morning. But having that example, having that encouragement to carry on, know that we're not alone. Other people are with us. Willingness to trust in God. Now I heard another interpretation of that 
guy on a, on a cliff, and he's walking around doing his cliff climbing, mountain climbing. The mistake is doing is on his own. But as he goes up the cliff, he puts his things in, in the mountain to secure his rope. He gets pretty far up and then loses his grip and begins to fall. Some of the spikes in the mountainside begin to come out. The last one catches him. He's hanging there in the middle of the night. It's very dark. Can't see down below him. He's not a believer, but he says, well, I want to ask. So he shouts out, God, are you up there? And surprised the voice comes back, yes, I am. He says, well, what should I do? The voice comes back, cut your rope. Wasn't too sure about that. All I saw below, below was, was darkness. Took out his knife, but never could cut the rope. Next morning, mountain climbers came along and saw this guy hanging 10 feet above the ground, frozen to death, feeling trust in God. Where people are called in a journey to trust in God, trust in God to lead us to his path. He's with us. You know, there's an uh, English carol by Christina Rossetti. It goes, what can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I could do my part. What can I give him? I give him my heart. And so I guess we may not be gold, frankness, and myrrh, but I guess that we can give Jesus our heart. And knowing that giving him our heart, he will bless us. And let us stand. Join together in our same creed. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things living and visible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, one begotten Son of God, one the Father of all ages. God from God, life from life, through God and through God, God not made. And all things are made. For us, men, for our salvation, be now in heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who is in front of the Virgin Mary, and For our sake, we should find a blessing of God in Christ. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, and was with the scriptures. He has sent them to heaven, and sent the life of the Father. You'll come again the Lord of the dead, and dead. This kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, and the Lord gives you life, who receives the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is both glorified, who has spoken to the Father. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church, the best of the Catholic church in the city. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. On this great feast of Epiphany, to celebrate Jesus coming for the whole world, we pray for many needs, both here and across the earth. That Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and deacons may tirelessly reveal the glory of Christ to all nations and peoples who do not yet know him, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That on our parish and city feast day of January 3rd for St. Genevieve, that we may continue to reveal the light of Christ to all, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the light of Christ may bring peace to the heart of every man, woman, and child, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the light of Christ may bring healing to those who sit in the darkness of poverty, injustice, violence, or fear, we pray to the Lord. Lord 
that the radiance of Christ may bring consolation to prisoners, refugees, illegal aliens, and all who have no permanent home, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That all Christians pray for peace and reconciliation in the Middle East, and for all Christians who are suffering persecution and martyrdom throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the manifestation of the glory of Christ will enable all to recognize the sanctity of each and every human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the people of God may more deeply discover the mystery of the Eucharist and worship the Lord as is the wise men of old. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick may discover in their sufferings a manifestation of the passion of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those intentions which we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we trust your love and care. Show us your glory, deepen our faith, and grant us your peace. We ask this Christ our Lord to live forever and ever. As our gifts are prepared, let us sing number 333 in the hymnal, We Three Kings of Orient Are, number 333.
and let us stand. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, let us pray to my sacrifice and yours. May be accepted, God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on the gifts of your church, in which you are offered now not gold, or frankincense, or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty eternal God, for today you reveal the mystery of our salvation in Christ as life for the nations. And when he appears in immortal nature, it makes us new by the glory of immortality in immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing him your glory of that end we acclaim. to give you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you like to all things and make them holy and never cease to gather people to yourself so rising the sun to a setting a pure sacrifice we offer to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy jesus we brought to you for consecration they have become the, the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave the disciples, saying, Take this. All of you need of it, for this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, was separate and took the chalice. And give me thanks said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it for chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and turn colors poured out for you for many forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, we celebrate the memorial of the same passion of your Son, his oneness, resurrection, and ascension to heaven. We look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the elevation of your church, and recognizing the sacrifice of the victim by whose death 
you will reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and for this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make a lasting offer, an offering to you so we may attain inheritance with your elect. As blessed most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Genevieve and all the saints, on the constant accession in your presence with we'll, we'll life for unfailing health. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. We please confirm faith and charity, the Pilgrim Church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, our Bishop, and all the clergy, entire people together, gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family. We have something before you. In compassion and merciful Father, gather yourself, all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you and passing from this life, get kind of mercy into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through his Lord, all the world, all that is good. Through him and with him in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in you the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And set the Savior's command, and finally, with thy teaching, we dare to sing together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, I pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days, and help your mercy. We'll be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as with us a hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace leave my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Bless and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called upon the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to get under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand, let us pray. Go before us with heavenly lights, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we receive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In your kindness, please pray for the repose of the soul of Ralph Tubby Rodenmeyer, whose funeral mass was this past week. Please pray for the repose of the soul of Vincent Geck. Visitation will be Sunday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Bosler Funeral Home. Funeral mass will be Monday at 10 a.m. There is still time to sign up to have your picture taken for the parish directory. <laughs> January 6 and 7 dates have been added. You may sign up either online at stgenevieveparish.com or call the parish center. These are the last two dates for pictures. The liturgical ministry schedule for all lectors, commentators, Eucharistic ministers, and servers may be picked up in the back of church. There is one copy per family. Parish group pictures listed in last week's bulletin will be taken after 10.30 a.m. Mass this Sunday. Our recessional hymn is number 94 in the Missalette, Songs of Thankfulness and Praise, number 94. So again, in terms of groups or groups from the parish, um, if you are part of that group, please come join us after the 10.30 Mass. Also, we have plenty of extra books for the name of Catholic. If you'd like to take next to one, please do so. The Lord be with you. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning. This Mass is over. Let's go forth the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be.